Jesus said, I am the way, truth, and the life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? God of peace that surpasses all understanding yes he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty Say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and fortress. My God, I will trust in Him. He shall preserve my soul. Yes, I will extol thee. O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. Lord my God I cried unto thee and thou hast healed thee thou hast brought my soul O Lord have mercy upon me and Lord be thou my helper in the time of trouble All of my help, help cometh come from the, the Lord. The Lord bless you today, for we have gathered today to reflect on the life of Miss A.W. Buchanan, and we greet you in the name that is above every name, and that is the name of Jesus. And the family, along with professional staff of Myers Mortuary, has provided us today an outline that we will follow uh, without announcement where you see your name appear you will come at the point of reflections for uh, from Mr. Matthew Kanzader and Miss Cynthia Kanzader if we can have our remarks at the minimum maximum of two minutes for your time of reflection we will hear in our hearing a song of comfort and celebration from our psalmist Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired. With my life 
my cry, hear my call, oh, my hand, lest I fall, take my hand, precious Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Leave me the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, comfort to me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23 was that which I've read. I will read the New Testament of the Gospel of John 14 says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, you believe also in me in my Father's house. Are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. May we bow our heads in prayer. My Father, thank you for holding our hand. Thank you for as we walk through the shadows of death, the shadow of bereavement, we thank you because you are with us and because your presence we shall fear no evil. God, even furthermore, before we ask you for anything, we thank you for everything. Thank you for this life that you have given, given to this family, these sons, these well-wishers and friends, for the memories and conversations that they shall forever cherish that will be comfort to them in days of head. God, we thank you for this day that you have made. With tears in our eyes, we will rejoice with questions in our heart. We still will rejoice because even when we can't trace you, we can trust you. And God, I ask you now to wrap your arms around this family. Let them know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. Fill this void because God you can and you have been a mother to the motherless when the calls have ceased and the visitations are no more Lord will you do me a favor will you remind them that you said I'll never leave you neither will I forsake you and God I thank you that we have comfort that you said you shall wipe all tears from our eyes and we give your name the praise and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reflections. Uh, I ask that y'all have a little patience with me. Uh, it's not hard to reflect from your heart, uh, from the mind it may be a little difficult because we forget a lot. But uh, Aunt Cat was like everybody Aunt Cat. Uh, she had a very, very kind heart. I remember her as a child, we used to follow her around like she was a mother hen. And uh, she didn't mind it. She, she was one to 
uh, not mind we children being her children. And uh, we, we really enjoyed having her as we grew up with her uh, until we got married and with separate ways and such and such. But uh, she had an old saying, and sh you could make her angry. Very seldom could you make her angry. But uh, when she get angry, she have an old saying, I'll knock. And that, that was her saying, I'll knock. She, <laughs> she wouldn't go no further with it. And she'll draw back, but she, she was so, she was a, a charming person. She was a very loving person. And uh, I'm pretty sure she'd appreciate we uh, respecting that on today. Uh, thank y'all. just a loving person and everybody loved her and she always smiled and she was always happy and glad to see you whenever you came around and um what else can I say about Kitty? I just loved her myself. I, I couldn't help it. Couldn't help but to fall in love with her when I married her nephew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else can I say about Kitty? Chris, come on help me out. She's just beautiful, that's all. She's just a beautiful person. And we all gonna miss her. And I know David and Terry gonna really miss her. Yes, so, yeah, so we all gonna miss her. And, but we can thank God that we did have her 88 years in our lives. She's been here a long time, so. It's something that we all must do. None of us are here to stay. And we all gonna have to cross this path one day. Yes. So one thing I can say, tell my little kitty, kitty, uh, but she did talk to me. Let me see. I talked to Kitty right before she passed, and I asked. Her, I said, "Well, hey, Kitty, it's so nice to hear your voice. How you doing?" She said, "Oh, I'm doing pretty good." And she just started laughing. And then the next morning, I got the call that she had passed away. So. We gonna miss Kitty. We love Kitty, and I just thank you and thank the Lord for letting her be in our lives for 88 years. Why should I feel? discouraged and why should the shadows come and why should my heart feel lonely and long for my heavenly home when Jesus is my portion a constant friend is he his eye is on the
Oh, it's all right to give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. That's right. It's comforting in knowing that if he watches over the sparrow, he watches over you and I. Serving as chaplain of Myers Mortuary, you can imagine how often I am in front of families. And due to my serving, it is my practice to never uh, interject myself in personally knowing the person because oftentimes I don't personally know those who I stand before. I literally lean on the obituary and I take my time to usually read over to try to find something uh, that I can pull out to comfort the family during this most time of bereavement. And in my reading today over the life of Miss Buchanan, I want to talk from this thought the long way. The long way. Through my reading, it is my understanding that she will often walk to her destination. And if not walking, she will catch the bus. And that was very interesting to me. That's why I feel that this moment of sharing with you, talking about the long way, I hope will bring some comfort to these sons and to these nieces and nephews because we're living in a day where everybody seemed to be in a rush, want things quick, fast, and in a hurry. Even I, as a millennial, a young man, I must confess the guilt of saying that I don't like waiting too much. And so definitely to tell me to take a walk to my destination, I will look at you some kind of way because I want to get there really fast. As a matter of fact, that's why different boycotts of today, that's why it's so hard sometimes for certain communities and a race of people to be taken serious because uh, there seems to be uh, no patience. One of the reasons why the Montgomery bus boycott was as effective as it was is because those who participated in that boycott did not mind the sacrifice of walking. For over 180 plus days, they walked to their destination. If riding on the bus would have caused that transport between their home and their job was 20 minutes, they didn't mind getting up two hours early in order to walk to their destination because they said that we will rather take the long way and rather to sacrifice than to continue to be treated. And I believe that Ms. Buchanan can, each one of us can learn from her because one thing I know that can happen uh, from a walk versus being driven somewhere is a walk allows you to observe the trees. It allows you to hear the humming of the bird. It allows you to see the beauty of nature. Whereas when you're in a hurry, in a car, in a train or a plane, you don't have the ability to embrace or to hold near and dear your heart. And so I want to thank God that sometimes God takes us the long way. So therefore we can appreciate the trip. He doesn't allow us. I see that I have a few people with a few gray hairs in here. And if it's not gray, it's gone. Uh, uh, and, and, and you remember, you remember, we just came, we just came out of New Year's. And you know, if you know, if you had a good traditional uh, New Year's, you had some Hoppin' Johns with some fat back in it. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't have fat back, you had ham hocks in it. And, uh, and you had some smoked neck bones or something. And, and one thing about those meals, those meals took time. But now, my family of four, we can literally have a meal in 30 minutes. All you got to do is put it in the microwave. But one thing I know about microwave meals, it does not have the nutrients in it. Than the slow burner and the cast iron and, and, and those particular long way. But, but aren't you glad that Mother Buchanan can tell us, don't be in a rush in 2021. Uh, go the long way because you ought to appreciate the process of what it taken to be where you are. And I'm finished when I tell you this. And, and, and I know that it won't be a message if I didn't give you a scripture. Well, here's the scripture. Isaiah said, they that wait 
upon the Lord shall renew their strength. For they shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Here we go. They shall walk and not faint. Aren't you glad that he put running before walking? Because sometimes we start out running. Sometimes we start out too fast. But life has a way of slowing you down. And you have to walk and say that uh, I walk by faith and not by sight. Job said that I'm going to wait until my change come. And, and I want to tell you that I know you want to be in a hurry. And I know that things in your life may want you to be over it just quick. But David said that weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. And, and oftentimes we have said that scripture without giving it context. Nighttime don't mean 12.01 a.m. Your night can last for two weeks. Your night can last for a month. But whenever the night is over in the morning when I rise, the sun is going to shine. And you can see Mother Buchanan now. She walked on the pavement of South Carolina. She walked on the dusty roads of South Carolina. But can't you see her walking on the streets? Paid with gold in a land that will never go old. And so now, Lord, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. Thank you for we're going to walk around heaven all day. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. I will ask those who are not part of the immediate family if you could stand with us at this time as we move into the committal of this life. For as much has pleased the Almighty God, in his wise providence to remove from this walk of life, Ada Kitty Cat <laughs> Buchanan. It becomes our duty to commit her life, her soul, her body to the Lord, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. A ton of the The dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. May we together say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. Rose and Lady Rose and to all of today's program participants, this family would like to thank you for assisting with today's homegoing service. To the friends who've gathered here today, this family would like to thank you for every act of kindness you've shown them, every visit, every phone call, and most importantly, your prayers. And to this family, on behalf of our owner and director, Mr. Brian W. Myers, and our entire family here at Myers Mortuary, we want to thank you for entrusting your loved one with us. We want you to know that we are here for whatever you may need. We are just a phone call away. Thank you and God bless you. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. One glad morning. When this life is over, I'll fly away to a land where joy will never end. 